So AMD has finally unveiled their highly anticipated Ryzen 4000G series of APUs. Those who don't know about the APU series, let me tell you, this is the series where AMD provides their integrated Vega graphics. So the 4000 series is based on the Zen 2 7 nanometer architecture and it is a direct successor to their old Ryzen 3000G series of APUs based on the Zen Plus 12 nanometer architecture which were very popular among the budget gamers and content creators who couldn't afford a dedicated GPU. So in this video, we will discuss what AMD has released and what improvements have they made. What's up guys, Diptesh here and cut your hair short so that you can avoid the barber as much as possible. Without any further ado, let's start the video. Before taking a look at the lineup, these new processors are based on the newer 7 nanometer Zen 2 architecture. The new processors use the same 8-core Zen 2 Plus 8 compute unit Vega that we saw in Ryzen Mobile 4000 at the beginning of the year. But as with previous APU launches, the frequency and power thermals have been pushed up into a more manageable desktop environments. All the APUs support DDR4-3200 and have 8 PCIe 3.0 lanes for add-in cards. So now let's take a look at the lineup. You have two models for each Ryzen 3, Ryzen 5 and Ryzen 7 APUs based on the TDP. The 65W version is called the Ryzen 4000 G series and the 35W version is called the Ryzen 4000 GE series. So across the board you have a lot of improvements. As you can see the Ryzen 3 has been updated to 4 cores and 8 threads, Ryzen 5 to 6 cores and 12 threads and Ryzen 7 to 8 cores and 16 threads. Also the base and boost clocks have been boosted quite a lot. You can see 4 GHz for Ryzen 3 and 4.4 GHz for Ryzen 7. The only difference is in base clock where the Ryzen 3 is at 3.8 GHz for the G series and 3.5 GHz for the GE series. Also improvement in the cache memory that is up to 12 MB for the Ryzen 7 4700G. And just take a look at the graphics frequency 2100 MHz for the 8 compute units inside the Ryzen 7 4700G which is quite high. Also the GE series Ryzen 7 4700GE also has 2000 MHz graphics frequency which is very high and impressive. So guys, in terms of graphics comparison with the Intel HD graphics, basically there is no contest. The Vega graphics inside the Ryzen 4000G series absolutely destroys the Intel HD graphics. So much so, just take a look. Someone has managed to overclock the Vega 8 integrated graphics of the Ryzen 7 4700G to 2.4 GHz and now it can match dedicated NVIDIA GTX GeForce 1050 inside 3D Mark Firestrike which is absolutely insane. Also it seems like the new APUs can be overclocked much higher as you can see someone has been able to overclock the Ryzen 7 4700G to 4.96 GHz across all its 8 cores without using any LN2 for cooling which seems really good and it's a good news for enthusiasts who like to overclock a lot. Here are a few benchmarks that was provided by AMD and obviously take these benchmarks with a grain of salt as these benchmarks are yet to be proven by reviewers. However, one thing is for sure the integrated Vega graphics of uh, these APUs really destroys the Intel HD graphics. So that is for sure. However, the rest of the things you can take with a grain of salt as these things are yet to be proven. So. The numbers look promising, but let's patiently wait for the reviews to come out. However, one big change is that the Ryzen 4000G series AK Renoir chip differs from the previous generations in the sense that they are made out of one chip. Thus, it holds 8 cores not separated into a 2x4 configuration. Because all the cores are physically on the same chip and fall within one single CCD, the latencies between the processors are low and more consistent compared to multi-core complex units. Like the ones you find inside the Ryzen 5 3500 or the Ryzen 5 3600 and all. So hold on, everything is fine, everything sounds fine, everything looks fine, benchmarks are great. So let's just go and buy one. Hold on, wait a second. AMD states that the initial release of Ryzen 4000G hardware is for OEMs only, like Dell and HP for their pre-built systems. AMD clarified that the market for its APUs is skewed very heavily towards big mass-market pre-built customers like HP and Dell, rather than custom home builds. The numbers quoted with around 80% of all APU sales end up in these systems and by working with OEMs only, AMD can also help manage stock levels of the Renoir Silicon coming out of the fabs 
between desktops and notebooks. Right now though AMD has promised that they will launch consumer grade release of these uh, APUs but at the moment we are not sure whether it will be the same APUs that they launched in the Ryzen 4000 series or something else. It's just that we have to wait and watch. However if you ask me I am kind of confident that AMD will launch the same CPUs I mean the same APUs the Ryzen 4000 APUs for consumers like us who want to build their own systems so I'm pretty positive that they will launch these APUs but at a later date. Let us just hope AMD does a consumer release as soon as possible. Alright guys that's it for this video thank you so much for watching if you liked the video then hit the like button if you did not like it hit the thumbs down button comment down below about what you feel about the video or any doubts I'm always there to help you. You can follow me on Instagram at the red all star deep and direct message me all your queries and I'm always there to help you. So that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching I'm Dittesh and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.